Hello everybody. We're going to talk about the Mark Bocek fight. It's Bocek or Bosek? Bocek. It Bocek. It looks like Bocek. Bocek. Uh, against Dustin Hazlett. Both guys, amazing grapplers. On paper, stand up looks about even. I really can't tell the, the, the difference. Really can't tell the difference. Stand up, sorry, neighbors. Um, on paper, the wrestling, I'll definitely give the advantage to Mark. Wasn't surprised at all that he took Dustin down. Um, I, I've been watching Mark for seven, eight years, I think. And I, one thing I always knew about Mark is he was focused on wrestling. He had awesome jiu-jitsu, great darses, and, but he was a jiu-jitsu guy that was really focused on getting his wrestling together. So I was in shock that he took Dustin Hazlett down. So I'd, I'd give the, in wrestling, I'd give the edge to Bocek. Although I really don't know that much about Dustin's wrestling. I wasn't shocked. Um, as far as the jiu-jitsu goes, both really good at jiu-jitsu. Dustin Hazlett's flexible as hell. Uh, Dustin probably has a better bottom game than Mark Bocek. Mark Bocek is more of a, a top player, I think, according to what I've seen. Um, I would definitely give the edge to Mark as far as accolades in jiu-jitsu. I think he's accomplished more in pure jiu-jitsu. But still, Dustin Hazlett's pretty badass. This is what happened in the rubber guard transition. A lot of questions on the internet. What the fuck happened? How come it failed? It's really simple, exactly what happened. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna explain to you, oh my God. if there's a big difference between playing rubber guard with my right leg all the way around his body or on his hip, I'm, he's still in full guard. He's still in full guard here. If, so I could take my time, what I'm thinking is clearing the neck and then getting to invisible collar for the ultimate control. And then from here, we go Kung Fu move here, and we transition to either a go-go or get the juke claw here and fight here. All right, but what happened was, Dustin Hazlett's right foot was caught underneath. He's in, I call this three-quarter guard, because there's an innate, there's a big difference between this and this and this. So this, I call three-quarter guard, because it's almost full guard, but not quite. Big difference. If I have, from here, for me, the race isn't to get to Invisible Collar anymore. The race is to get to the Kung Fu move as soon as possible. So I clear the neck, I'm in Chill Dog, and then I hit the Kung Fu move here. It's called, I call it Kung Fu move because it looks like a Kung Fu move. A lot of people will bring the leg over and pull the arm out like this. Not very efficient, especially if you have MMA gloves. This way, if you come this way and try to pull the, the hand out, your gloves could get stuck. But even if you don't have gloves, this is better. Bring the leg over, elbows over the toes, and then you slam the foot on the face. And then once, right, once we're here, there's no way he can pass. He can get caught in the car and he's stuck here. Because that butterfly that was on the inside is now, it now becomes the thing that traps him. But I can't trap him and I can't control him until I go Kung Fu on him here. Right? Big important step here. If I stayed in Chill Dog, he could pass right through this. And that's what ended up happening. That's what ended up happening with Dustin Hazlett. Dustin did appear to be in a, in a hurry to clear the neck and get to Kung Fu move, but he just didn't do it in time. Um, Mark Bocek recognized that once he's here, all he's got to do is power through, and then he's past the guard. You got to keep this leg strong. It's a race right here. It's who's going to get there first. Am I going to get to the Kung Fu move first here, or is he going to pass? He, it seemed like Dustin Hazlett was right here, and then Bocek just slammed right through and passed. Excellent way to pass the guard. Those of you that are, are, are more into killing the rubber guard than working on it offensively, just know that. This is, this, when you're in three-quarter guard, recognize that as long, if you push through, hop over this knee, push this knee down, rubber guard don't mean anything. Rubber guard will be killed. But if I'm here and I can clear the neck and go come through now, you get passing. Leg curl here, and now we ain't passing. I can go go-go, I can go carny here. I could just sit here, go for all my platas. Big difference. So, Mark Bocek, I'm sure he studied Dustin's game. I'm sure he looked into the rubber guard. Dustin Hazlett's known for a very good rubber guard. I'm sure he knew that. And that was just beautiful passing, beautiful recognition of where that right foot was. That's all it was. It was just amazing jujitsu by Mark Bocek. And that triangle at the end, total sickness. Peace.